Yeah, so I feel like many are bit into like obscure vintage technology or random technology, but in today's video, I'm glad to say I've gone all out and created a bit of an ecosystem that gets everything I need to do done. Done. Also, I should mention, I've been living out of a van for the past like two months now, so everything in here is kind of influenced by that. And also, I'm working on a company right now with a friend. I actually have to be productive with all this stuff, uh, unfortunately. So yeah, if that sounds cool to you, uh, let's get right into the video. I also created an undated version of my planner, um, so if you're interested in that, the link's down in the description. Thank you. So the first item on this list is something that I actually really enjoy. It's my BlackBerry Key 2. I've actually talked about it before on this channel, but I decided I'd give a quick update. So you may be wondering why I'm using a smartphone that's like six years old. And let me tell you why, friends, because it has a physical keyboard, which means uh, you can do a lot of cool stuff with it through this app called Termux, which is just like a terminal for your Android phone. Having the physical keyboard makes using terminal stuff so much easier than using the virtual keyboard you guys don't even know. Because it's getting a bit older, it's a bit slow now, and it's still on Android 8.1, but for the stuff I do with it, uh, I'm not too worried, and it's still quick enough for everything I gotta do with it. Since my last video, I actually started to read on it through CoReader. Um, nowadays, I'm only carrying one device most of the time, and I find that for reading for under 20 minutes, uh, it's been actually very pleasant. So since my last video about it, I've actually been using it with this wireless keyboard, and if I'm trying to like SSH into something and do more, comprehensive computing uh, having a physical keyboard is really useful and this one has actually been really solid even for how old it is uh, it types great and uh, it works great with the phone so yeah really happy with it so the next item on my list is something that i've been using for the past two or three years actually um, and of course it's my high sense touch now that it's been so long i thought I'd make another update since a lot has changed in this little sphere of technology and i thought i'd give you guys another update and kind of more of my thoughts on it now that i've used it for longer so of course the palma has come out since i made my last video um, i've had it for a little bit and i decided to stick with the high sense touch the Palma is like the size of a 15 Pro Max. It's just too big for me and I personally value portability and long-term comfort while reading. I also think the Hisense is built much better and I just have a lot more confidence in bringing it out. I've seen some Reddit posts about the Palma like losing its screen and stuff like that. And the Hisense has been like, it looks brand new even though I've had it for like three years now and bring it everywhere. Since my last video, it's actually been cracked, so you can root it and install Google Play. I also figured out how to bind the e-ink button on the left side of the device to go to the next page in CoReader, and that has enabled me to read on both sides of the bed now when I'm laying down in the fetal position, which is awesome. So it actually ships with like a matte screen protector from the factory, but uh, it's not like the greatest screen protector ever. I actually found this one recently, and I have been extremely happy with it. Like the size of it makes it look perfect, and and it fixes one of the main problems with the device. So now I think the only issue with it is there's no SD card. Uh, it could be 300 PPI and my battery life has degraded now that it's been so long, but yeah, still super happy with the Hisense Touch. So now that I'm living in a van, uh, I've been super conscientious about how much like physical space something takes up. And I'm super excited to show you guys this laptop that I've been using for some time now. It is a One Netbook, uh, One Mix 3S. So I kind of started my UMPC journey with this guy. It's a GPD Pocket 1, and <laughs> it's really cute, but it only has an Atom X7 and 8 gigs of DDR3 with EMMC storage, which is like SD card level of speed. So yeah, it's super potato, and nowadays I kind of just use it on the side of my uh, computer. So after trying the Pocket 1 for a while, I ended up giving the... Chewy MiniBook X a shot. This one's a 9-incher and it has a N100 Intel quad-core processor with 12 gigs of RAM, 512 gigabyte SSD. It's been super stable in Linux and I've been actually quite happy with the performance, but I ended up deciding to go a different route because the screen color accuracy is not super great and I mainly use these laptops nowadays to study um, another language and consuming a lot of media is a part of that so just having like a nice screen has become pretty important to me other than that though uh, this is a pretty swag lap um, i like the keyboard and and also the screen protector i got for it it's not like the greatest so it looks kind of ghetto but uh yeah pretty good laptop i was browsing online and i finally managed to find one of these guys unfortunately they're kind of rare it's a one netbook one mix 3s there's a few of these there's the three the three s and the three pro and I ended up finding the S in Japan, actually. 
This guy has a 10th gen i3, 8 gigs of RAM, and 512 gigabyte SSD. I'm not super concerned about the specs, as long as I can do everything I need to, it's fine. And um, yeah, I've been really happy with it. Running Linux, it's been a great experience. Actually, everything <laughs> works out of the box, unlike my GPD Pocket 1, which is like kind of a nightmare to set up. The screen is fantastic. Um, I got a mount screen protector for it. The keyboard feels really great. It has an infrared mouse, which works surprisingly well. I've been getting about four to five hours on it. Uh, for a used laptop, that's not the end of the world. It's not fantastic, but it is what it is. Um, and the fan kind of goes hog wild sometimes. It reminds me of my old X220. But uh, yeah, I guess I'm kind of kind of find it charming a little bit. But just using this on the go in conjunction with my BlackBerry Key 2, it's like a super powerful setup where I can like take notes on the BlackBerry while having like a textbook or something or any reference notes on the laptop. One of the coolest things ever. So the next item on this list is uh, something that I've been very pleased with. It's these headphones actually. These are Moonjob Kados. Um, they're not super meta right now. There are cheaper ones out there. But I've been very happy with these ones specifically. So I'm not much of an audiophile, but you know, I do respect good sounding audio. And uh, I've been super happy with these. I got them for about $100 used on eBay. Uh, prior to this, I had been using Apple AirPods and nothing ear A's for the longest time. Um, and I still do use the ear A's. I ended up switching off of the AirPods because now that I'm in an office, I need better sound isolation. And before the AirPods, I was using Sennheiser IE 600s, but I ended up switching off of those because um, the fit wasn't super fantastic for me. The Kados, I've been happy with the sound signature. They're not super uh, bassy or anything, but it works for my genres of music that I usually listen to. Um, they sound great with my high sense touch. You don't need to drive them super hard. and. Uh, I found them comfortable, and especially after upgrading the cable, um, the portability has been really nice, and the sound isolation has been plenty for where I'm working right now. So the next item on this list is something that I feel like more people should know about, so I decided to talk about it in this video. Um, it's a Books Go 10.3. I used the Books Note X for the longest time, which is like a Chinese exclusive model, and it was always frustrating to me that they never had like an international version. I feel as though this tablet is that. So I'm a big fan of Books tablets because they give you Android, which allows you to do way more stuff on it compared to other tablets in the technological niche. Looking at you, Remarkable and Kindle Scribe, you're not aware of these. They're just basically a tablet with an e-ink screen. They're kind of fragile and delicate, so if you do end up buying one, I highly recommend you get a case. Using notes and taking notes on a tablet like this is actually super clutch because I'm not using any more analog stuff at the moment just due to me being in a van. I don't really have like a desk. I've been using the Books Tab 10 C for a long time, which is like a Chinese exclusive one, but um, the Go is pretty good in that it's a lot thinner, um, even though it doesn't have a backlight, it also uh, has better battery life as well. So the next item actually doesn't have a battery, unfortunately. Uh, it's my wallet. Um, I thought I'd give you guys a quick update since I've made some changes since my last video uh, mentioning it. So uh, yeah, let's go ahead and, and talk about it. So even though I said that I'm not really using analog writing tools nowadays, I actually do still have a notebook on me at all times. In that notebook, I actually have a habit tracker. So I switched away from a digital habit tracker to a physical one. Uh, so it's convenient because I always have my wallet on me and I've actually upgraded the pen from last year from a zebra one to this uh, palette one and it actually writes pretty nicely. Um, so yeah, it's a pretty great wallet. I've had it for a few years now, no complaints. So one of the main reasons I moved into a van was uh, to work on myself. One area that I've been trying to improve a lot in and trying to figure stuff out in is uh, spirituality, which is something that I don't really want to talk about too much on YouTube. But this next piece of technology has been super useful in figuring that out and recording my observations and my own like thoughts about it. And it is a Japanese typewriter. It's called the Pomera ZM250. So I think it's pretty important to romanticize the process. And because I don't really have like a desk in my van to write out stuff, um, typing on notes has been something that I've had to find a new process for. And and I think for something as important as one's spirituality, things should be taken seriously. Um, I looked into different note-taking options that I could use while I was on the road. Um, this is actually before my UMPC stuff because it seems a little bit redundant but uh, I ended up on this digital typewriter. Basically there's a subreddit called Writer Deck where they make like dedicated writers. And uh, this is probably the best one out there. 
It's USB-C, has a really great screen, the keyboard feels awesome, has 16 gigs of dedicated storage, and you can also expand it via SD card. And yeah, so I mainly use it for writing about um, that, and then I also have a personal journal that I've been keeping up a lot, and it's become uh, super integral to my closing routine at the end of the day, because um, I just feel like doing all that journaling stuff on the laptop isn't as romantic as this thing, as corny as that is. Um, so yeah, I've been uh, extremely happy with it. So the next item on this list is something that is kind of random for this channel, but uh, I've been having a lot of fun with. It is a Retroid Pocket 2S. So I've been doing Anki for so long now <laughs> that I kind of look for ways to make it more interesting. came across these like handheld game things uh, a while back. I've always been super interested in them, but for some reason I never put the two and two together until now. And since then I've actually been uh, really happy with it um, for not only just using Anki, but also for like consuming media in other languages it's been like such a useful tool because it's like separate from my phone and my blackberry so it feels like uh, something that i can like toggle to mentally <laughs> i was like now it's, t it's time to study a different language um so you yeah, guys know what i mean uh, i actually really like this device um, the 2s is a bit older now but i opted for this one because it is compact and fits in the pocket and I opted for Android because it can run Anki Droid. So this next thing I've daily dallied on making a completely dedicated video on for some time now and I don't think I actually will but it's a 903KC. I kind of have a video talking about it already on my channel but um, I'm actually not currently using it right now. Um, now that I'm in a different state, I kind of need GPS because the roads here are like so wonky bro and like yeah so Having a phone like this is just impractical since there's so much uh, friction with a lot of different things and I don't even feel like particularly distracted or addicted to many things in my life at the moment anyways. But uh, yeah, this is like such a cool piece of technology I thought I <laughs> would have to show you. Well, I don't really like talking to Eric, so I'm gonna go ahead and play music. That's fine. <laughs> <laughs> we don't need to talk. <laughs> so yeah. Uh, Bluetooth actually works surprisingly well, but the problem is there are no media controls. So if you want to like go next, you have to do it through your earbuds. So if you like use Gen 1 like AirPods, you can't select like forward or next. It's annoying. So these ones I've found have worked well. Mush mushy. So more love. By loving yourself. How, how do you love yourself? Physically? Yeah, like can you show me <laughs> some tips? So I currently live out of a van, you guys. Um, I got rice and a bicycle, which is pretty much all you need to get around in life. <laughs> So it doesn't fit in my uh, little holder here. Oh, I guess that works. Or into this. Texting and driving. Texting. Freaking Gen Z. But yeah, we made it. Nice. That used about 10% of battery. <laughs> That's our green tea. Cheers. Have you ever gotten any weird looks from using it? Well, the thing is, uh, I don't really use it that much, right? Because it's like, what do you point of it? You know what I mean? <laughs> I don't know your song. I feel like you'd be disappointed. That was, a, that was how that guy came out with the max viewing. You like this is the technology song? So I can't show you too much about what we're working on in the company right now. Uh, well, we're still working on it. But this is what I keep everything in. I actually don't really keep any viables in my car while I'm not in it. So uh, yeah, everything that fits in here. Like I said earlier, I highly recommend getting a uh, some sort of like a case for 
your eating tablet because otherwise they're low-key kind of fragile just in here i have my laptop so i got sent that while i like moved here uh, which is why i have two right now originally i was just gonna use so yeah originally i was just gonna use this guy all alone uh and that was kind of like more of a surprise so in the bag i also have a the pocket 2s the keyboard and the uh, I actually do use a trackball mouse with the, the laptop, but uh, yeah, this has been a super solid combo for me. So at work, I'm currently using my old QK60. Um, these are with Loop Kang White's um, super solid keyboard for me. As you can see, someone decided to copy me. <laughs> um, and yeah, this is my Trackman Marvel wireless. Um, my Proto Arc that I brought from home actually broke. And no longer turns on at all and i can't charge it at all so i'm so mad at you bro what happened so yeah in the meantime i've been using that so there's the tablet uh, right here and i am currently using a macbook air since at work right now we're building an app which means that uh, it's, it's a lot easier on mac os to be honest and yeah i use all my video editing stuff on here as well i'm making another video on the software that i use on everything but um just to give you a quick update I'm using uh, NVIM for like pretty much all of my coding stuff. Uh, Doom Emacs for my org Rome and org uh, files stuff. It's running Android that is running Arch. Um, I've got my headphones uh, right there and uh, <laughs> pretty straightforward setup. I mainly use this guy as a way to keep track of my like work sessions. So I just have like a thing that says like, I just type in work and then it starts counting down from four hours. So, yep. 